Hey guys, it's Thursday, 8.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on August 23rd, 2018. That huffing and puffing you hear in the background is my little dog. So forgive the huffing and puffing noise, but he's sitting here helping me while I'm doing my research. So here's the scoop, you guys. The latest on this Hurricane Lane. Okay, I did more readings on the buoys in the area. And as I showed you in my last video, that 51002 buoy did get readings up into the 50s, right? Or 50 was the highest reading I got, okay? Which is half the speed that they are reporting on the news. But I want you to notice, you guys, since then, those wind speeds dropped dramatically, okay? There are no wind speeds in the 50s, not even close. Even 51002 dropped almost immediately to 35 knots. So it was just a storm that passed through. Now I want you to see this is a summary of all the readings over the last three hours from every single NOAA buoy in the vicinity of the Hawaiian Islands. Now yes, it looks like there are some strong winds. 33 knots is not anything to just shake a stick at, but 33 knots, you guys, is one third the force of a hurricane. It is just a storm, all right? now. Here, and that's just, those are the gusts. The actual wind speeds themselves are 25.3, 27.2, that was earlier, um, 8, 29.1, 17.5. You know, while everybody's running to the grocery store getting supplies, which is good because I have no idea what's going to happen here. And if they say evacuate, evacuate. I'm just pointing out, you guys, that on every single one of the buoys, surrounding Hawaii, we are not getting any wind speeds anywhere close to what they're telling us. And that, you guys, is why I'm concerned about this. That's why I'm concerned about this. Now let me also show you a couple of other things here. See, we have buoys all over the place. Well, they're not, yeah. See, look at how many buoys we have. If there's really a storm around here, how come none of these buoys are actually picking it up, okay? How come? 51003? That's not showing any readings anywhere above 20, all right? The latest one was 17.5 knots. You guys, 13.6 knots. You guys, it's blowing harder than that here on Grand Traverse Bay right now. So there's there, something funky is happening here, and I, I can't explain it, but this is exactly what happened last year. Now, I'm not saying that there's not a storm. There, there is a storm because 21, 22, 30, 50 knots, that's pretty windy, okay? But let me show you a couple of other observations I've made here. As I went to go watch the latest on CBS, I also stopped by to take a peek at the radar on the weather underground from Honolulu, Hawaii. Now I want to explain to you guys the difference between satellite and radar. Radar is actually the instruments that we have feeding data from Doppler sounds in, in a variety of different radar instruments that we have at you know, um, airports, okay? So, and there are a lot of airports on the Hawaiian Islands. So this image here that we have of this radar is pretty accurate. And it's not only here, okay? This is not the only place where we're getting a uh, radar reading. I want to show you guys the CBS video here. In the background of the CBS video, you guys will see if it saved my place on the page. See this? This is the radar too. This is the radar too. I want you to notice what is, what is mysteriously missing from this radar. This crazy image of a hurricane. There is no hurricane shape of cloud formation anywhere near the Hawaiian Islands. Not in the CBS News background screen and not on the actual weather underground data feed from the radars. You guys, there's something going on here. I don't know what it is. I can't tell you exactly what's happening. But and and it's not and it's totally possible that a hurricane will pop out of nowhere and take out Hawaii, but it's not there now. So let's be really clear about this. The actual radar that they're showing us, which is real physical data that is compiled from all the airports around the Hawaiian Islands. Okay, this is what air, this is what the pilots use to fly. This is accurately showing no hurricane here. The wind speed indicators, the actual data points of these floating little, you know, tax-funded little, you know, buoys that we have in the one. Let me see if I can show you an image of one. Here we go. We got tons of them. See, we got tons of them all over the country, all over the world. 
these are what this is what our National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administrator's Office uses to measure the weather. And those guys, those little floaty things in the water, they're showing us that there is nothing of that kind of wind speed anywhere, anywhere around the Hawaiian Islands. I'll just double click. And, and, and so interesting, you guys, because look at at the National Data Buoy Center link at the, for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administrator's Office. They have this link, Storm Special. View the latest observations. So these are the latest observations, you guys. All you got to do is click the Central Pacific Hurricane Lane right here. Click it. And what we see, you will see that the wind speeds are right here, WSPD in knots, 17.5. 6.0, 19.0. And if you scroll down, you guys, you're not going to see anything over, what, 21, 23? You guys, that's that's not a hurricane. A minimum wind speed for a hurricane is 64. Okay, for the hurricane that they're reporting, it would have to be 113. We are 100, 100 knots shy of an actual hurricane anywhere around the Hawaiian Islands. And I want to know why. I want to know why. I want to know where the heck NOAA is getting the information that they're posting in their press releases. And I want to know why the news is telling us that there's a hurricane when even their own radar is showing that there is no hurricane on their own radar. These are real radar images, you guys. Now, you can, you can put the cartoon-generated you know, image from NASA and their imaginary satellite images. You can double-click that, and sure, then you'll see a hurricane. But you guys, reality is telling us that there's just a storm, a rainstorm with wind. Why? Why is this important? Well, I'll tell you why this is important, you guys. Because they have only had one hurricane in the history of the state. One. In 1991 or 92. Okay? One hurricane. In the 90s, you guys, this should all be big red flags for us. This should all be big red flags for us. This is the same stuff I, I found over and over and over again last year. The links will be in the description, you guys. I just wanted to give you an update that as of right now, I don't know what's going to happen to Hawaii. I have no idea. It may end up that Hawaii ends up looking something like the wildfires. You know, we may end up with, you know, with hurricane damage with no evidence of a hurricane, but just a bunch of damage. Like we ended up with wildfires and no in in indication of the wildfire. And just a bunch of damage. We may end up with something like that in, in Hawaii. I don't know. I hope not. But right now, there's no hurricane on this radar. There's no hurricane on the radar in the background of the CBS report here, either. There's no hurricane on the NOAA buoys, on the wind speed data. That is, This is just raw data, you guys. Raw data that is fed to us directly from the water. <laughs> These are numbers that most people don't take the time to look at, but I'm showing you there's a problem here, you guys. So I'll keep you posted. Have a good night.